Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where learning art is fun. I'm Sarah and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw a realistic unicorn. And since pictures of unicorns are pretty hard to come by, I used a reference picture of a horse. So if you want to draw a horse, this tutorial should work for that too. And if you're new to my channel and you like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So for this drawing of a unicorn, I used my Strathmore toned grey paper and I used a pencil and an eraser, that's all you will need. And before I began, step one was that I drew an outline of a rectangle. Now this rectangle is about eight centimeters wide by 10 centimeters tall. And once you've drawn that, the next step is to cut off those corners by drawing an oval inside the rectangle. And remember when you're placing your rectangle down on the page, make sure you've got enough room around either side for the rest of the unicorn and of course for the horn on the top. So the next step is to draw a line across your oval horizontally and a line vertically down the middle to cut it into four. Once you've done this, the next step is to draw a small circle that touches the edge of that bottom right hand oval there. This circle is about four centimeters in diameter. And this is gonna form his nose. So next for the top of the unicorn's head, I'm just gonna extend the line from the curve on the oval on the right hand side and go over following that oval shape round till we hit the horizontal line on the other side. And then for the shape of his neck, it's just a case of extending that line down. And for the bottom of his neck, I just draw another straight line down, slightly at an angle, just away from that central line of the oval. Now to place the unicorn's eye, I go to the central horizontal line and divide it into three. And in the middle, just above the central horizontal line, I draw an oval for the unicorn's eye. And this is just an oval, but it is on a slight angle. Now coming off from the top of the eye, I place a little mark and make a small lump where the other eye will be. Now, because this unicorn isn't facing the side, we've kind of got a three quarters view. So we will see the shape of the top of the eye there, but we won't actually see as much of it as we do, obviously, if it was facing straight on. And I've just drawn a light pencil line over the cross the top of his head and that's gonna help us place the unicorn's horn and also to help us realize that this isn't a 2D object we're trying to draw, it is a horse's head or a unicorn's head, so it curves over. Now I'm drawing a line for the side of his jaw and that comes down from the side of that eye and then angles in towards the circle that we've drawn at the bottom. And then on the other side, another line coming down from the side and again angling towards the circle on the other side. And you can see we're starting to get the shape of the unicorn's nose. So just joining up now that bottom oval onto the circle to create the nose area. Now from that bottom circle, I'm just extending a line a little lower than the bottom, just so that we can put some shape into that nose. And the same on the side. And instead of going round, we're gonna do more of a straight line coming down. go out a little bit and then come down for that nostril and for the nostril on this side I'm just going to do an oval shape which goes slightly above the bottom of the circle and 
we've nearly finished the mouth, just going over with our pencil to create that mouth on the bottom of the circle. Now, because this unicorn is facing a three quarter angle, so we can still see some of the side of his face. So I'm just going over in pencil a little curve to show that. And now it's time to place the ears. So I'm just extending my pencil from the corner of that eye on the top of his head and just doing a curve shape for his ear. And then leave a little gap, flatten the top of his head off just a little bit before doing the other ear. If you're using a light pencil sketch then if you need to you can easily erase any mistakes and readjust. So that done it's time to now put in some hair for his mane and I'm not copying any reference photos exactly for this so you can be quite free to create it however you want. I thought it would be really nice to have it flowing behind him and then when we come to the colouring in stage, we can have a bit of fun choosing the colours for that. But that colouring in, I'm going to do on Friday's video, so make sure you tune in for that. And I try and do more sort of clumps or areas of hair together so that it looks quite realistic. we'll go into more detail in the colouring in stage for that. So now it's time to put the horn on the unicorn and initially I put it a little bit low down so you'll see I put it in the centre of his head just above his eyes. But if you watch till the end of the video I do adjust it because after having a cup of tea and going back to it I thought it looked a bit peculiar so I did change this later on so if you watch the end you can see I did change it a little bit and I was much happier with the result. And you can make obviously the unicorn's horn as long or as short or as angled as you wish and I just do some spiralling and some lines across to give that horn the impression of being more cylindrical than just straight. And then I just do a few little touch ups and rub out some of those guidelines to make it look a little bit more realistic so that I'm happy with the result. So if you try this at home and you follow along using the step-by-step -step method that I've kind of done here, then do remember that if you want to place your unicorn's horn slightly higher up, you might be more happy with it as I was when I did. So as you can see now, I am just using my small Mono Zero eraser to rub out some of those guidelines and clean up my sketch. I'm just putting in some lines there just to show the neck and here's me having another go at the unicorn's horn and the main thing when you put the horn on the unicorn is to kind of place a circle right about where you want the horn to be because the horn is a cone shape and it for it to sit nicely on the head you need to do that circle first I ended up doing it kind of halfway between the ears and the eyes in the end rather than in between the eyes as I did before and I also decided to do it slightly shorter than I did before because it looked really long and pointy after I'd had a break and come back to my sketch. But that's the great thing about doing pencil sketches. It's always important to give yourself a break and come back to it if you're not sure. And certainly if you're drawing something that you're not familiar with or that you can't get an awful lot of reference photos for, as was the case with this unicorn. So 
So now I'm just adding that sort of curved spiral shape to give the illusion of this cone being 3D. And with that I was finished for the day. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget that you can see the colouring in part on Friday's video. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up and comment. And I will see you all on Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye.